Hey guys, welcome back to Surveying with Robert. I apologize for the long video. I gotta get you the information somehow. This is the best way to do it, okay? So, enjoy. Well, I'm thinking today we're going to set up an R10 base and an R12 base, and we're going to see how those compare in the woods. Kind of like what we did with the R8S and the, um, what did we do? The R8S and the R12 base stations. I'm going to do the swap base things. We're going to go over to the woods and uh, we're going to check that out. So right now, I need to get everything set up and ready to go. Okay. Get these set up. Okay, so I guess one of these days I'll show you guys how to properly set up one of these things. Because I know some of you battle with them. Well, that one is, that hole right there is really, really tight. Okay, so drop this one down. Stab it in the ground, drop this one down. Stab it in the ground. Stab it in the ground. Let's get a little closer. You don't want the feet too far apart because if you do, you'll come back and you'll be off your nail. Of course, in this case, I'm not on a nail because I don't need one right now. So let's uh, get the second one here set up. My neighbors. Okay, let's get some GPS receivers out. So what we're gonna do, borrowed an R10 from my buddy Colt. So I'm gonna use his R10 and I'm gonna get this thing set up.
His R10 looks like it's been drugged behind the truck. Let's go ahead and turn that on. So normally I'd use lever extension. I only have one with me today. So, So what we have going on here is we have one R10 and one R12 base station. So just like I did before, I'm gonna do a swap base on it. And, whoops. I'll do a swap base on it and we'll, uh, we'll see which one works better in the woods. My money is on the R12. R12 base, R12 Rover, but I know some of you guys would really like to know, is it worth trading in your R10 for an R12? So that's what we're gonna look at today. We're gonna see what, what the differences are between the uh, R10 base and R12 base, and I'm gonna go over here in the woods, and we are going to um, we're gonna try to get some shots and see how it works. We might even try RTX while we're at it. Who knows? Okay, so I got the R10 and R12 set up. So now we're gonna set up a survey style. I'm gonna show you how to set up swap base survey style so that um, we can um, we can swap between the R10 and the R12 as a base when we get over here in the woods. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna create a new job called uh, R10 versus R12 base. Okay. And we're gonna change our projection to Mississippi, Mississippi East store, accept. Okay, so let's go and look at our survey style. Survey settings, RTK. Right now I'm worried about the base options. So the base options right now is R12. Let's change it to the R10. Station index is an R10. Let's turn all of our satellites on. Two, two, two. R10, this is going to be um, 2.25 meters to the bottom of quick release, enter, accept. Store. Okay, so let's start this first. Measure, RTK, start base receiver. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I got it backwards there. Let's go back into the Bluetooth. Let's go back to the R10, except now then, measure, RTK, start base. Now it's connecting to the R10. Okay, so I'm gonna call this 10 for a point number. That should all be good, 10. Oh, whoops, key in here. Or 10, so we know which one's which. Or 10, enter, store, 10. Let's change that to zero on that one, start. Okay, I got the base, the R10 base started. So now let's go back into the survey style. Measure RTK, and you could set up an, a, uh, a 10 and a 12 if you wanted to, rather than doing what I'm doing on um, changing the survey style. So um, base options, we're gonna go with a R12. Station index, and this is a big thing, I just wanna make sure I get that station index changed. I'm gonna say um, bottom of lever extension, I'm gonna say two meters. Go make sure all of our satellites are on, except store, measure. Oh wait, we gotta do Bluetooth. I don't wanna do that again. Uh, Bluetooth, we want, this time we want it connected to the R12, except. Now we'll go back into measure, go to RTK, start base. Okay, so I started the R10 base 
and that is station index 10. Now we're gonna do the R12 base. Um, and hopefully it won't give us any problems because I'm just doing autonomous with both of them. We'll see how that works out. Um, here, store. I'm gonna do a 500 millisecond offset. Since they're so close together, we'll see if it makes any difference or not. So I'm not worried about accuracy, I just wanna know if it works. So uh, let's go to measure, RTK, measure points. So what I'm interested in is to see how well they both pick up in the woods. I'm, I'm not concerned about um, if one of them is more accurate than the other one right now. I just wanna see um, if I can get a fixed position with each one of them. Okay, so I have an R10 and an R12. So now whichever base station I wanna use, I'll say the 10, accept. So now I can use the 10. And there we go, we're fixed and ready to go. Okay, so there we go. That's the, um, that's setting it up. So what I did was I just started an R10 and R12. Typically it would both be on good control points, blah, blah, blah. I'm not really that worried about it. Let's see what happens when I swap base. Measure, swap base. I wanna do the 12. Switching to new base. Let's see it gives me an error or not before I get going. Not good. Nope, there it goes. Boom, it's fixed. Okay. So let's go back to measure. New York, we'll just leave it in the 12 right now. So right now we're connected to the 12. So now let's head over to the woods and see if we can get a shot. What do you say? So a lot of you guys have been interested to know, you know, if you use an R10 base, you know, just try and save some money, right? Use an R10 base. Maybe pick up a used one, nine, 10 grand, something like that. Then use a, an R12 as a rover. Problem is the satellites, right? So the R10, the, the L5s is what's getting us in the woods, okay? So the, the L5, and I'm thinking that's the Bayou satellites, I'm not sure. The R10 picks up the Bayou satellite, but it, could be compass, I looked at one or the other. Anyways, the, uh, I'd have to look at it again and see. But, um, so it doesn't pick up the L5 on the, I'm gonna say, Bayou satellite, okay? Picks up L1, L2. Whew, this is heavy with the bipod and the data collector and everything else on it. Uh, it doesn't pick up the L5, the R10 doesn't does not pick up the L5 on the Bayou. So what happens is those L5 signal codes are the ones that get you where you're going, where you wanna be. And uh, if you can't get L5 on the, on the R12, I mean on the R10 and the R12, it's, uh, it's not gonna work as well for you. So when you go R12, R12, you're gonna get better than you would if you went R10 base and R12. Now, that's not saying that the that you're not gonna get good. I mean, you're gonna get you can get some amazing shots. There's no doubt about that. Using the uh, um, R10 as a base, R12 as a rover. But you're gonna get better shots when you go on R12, R12. Woo! Yeah, should work four wheeler. I'm gonna go down here in the big tools and see how this works. Oh, mercy. Spider webs. Okay, it's kind of a swamp back here. But this will tell us what we need to know, right? So uh, hopefully I don't get snake bit while I'm back here. Stab my briars. Okay. So we take this fill crew off here. Maybe.
Oh, mercy. Okay. Let's get turned around. Whew. Okay. Best I remember, we're running off the R12 base. So let's see how well we do today. Skeeters. Pretty back here if you like a swamp. This looks like a swamp from a movie. That's what this looks like. Okay, so horizontal 22, vertical is up there. Just got it in topo point. Let's see if it's gonna come down any. Or if I'm gonna have to go get some bug spray, keep skeeters off of me. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and hit measure so we can see how long it's taken. Oh, 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 it's drying. Look at that, five and 11. Remember, that's estimated precisions, right? That's based on the math, not really how close we are. That's the swap base feature, it comes in pretty handy, it's pretty cool. Four and 11. I could take a shot right there, probably. Let's see if it goes into survey grade. Let's see if we we'll get the little green check mark. Don't want to say fixed, because if I say fixed, one of you guys will get on to me. So, let's see what happens here. Man, it's trying. It's trying hard. We're rolling up on a minute on the shot. I've been back here probably, what, a couple minutes anyways? There it is. Survey great. Boom. Okay, that's 1,000. Store. Observation stored. So now then, let's swap base. Measure. Let's uh, swap base receivers. Uh, Skeeter. R12. I'm going to say 1,000. Enter. Measure. Yep. Okay, let's see how long it takes to get that shot. I said measure. Core precisions. There we go. So that just took not very long, like 10 seconds. Out of tolerance. So there's the shot between the two, you can see. So uh, I'll just go ahead and store that. Observation stored. Now then let's swap back. Measure, swap base. Let's go back to the 10. Switch into new base. Okay, we're gonna call this 1001. Enter, measure. Okay, we should be back to the 10 now. I got it pretty quick, that's within six. Store. Observation stored. Measure. Let's uh, swap base. Let's go back to the 12. I think the moral to the story is that the R10, R12s are just good receivers. I think you're gonna get a little bit more R12, R12 and on bad days than you will R10, R12. Wow, that just took like nothing. Um, Four precisions. There it is. Four seconds. Observation stored. Swap base again. Let's go to the 10. Waiting for information from the base. Hmm. It's like we had a hiccup that time.
Wow, skeeters are tearing me up. Store. Measure. Swap base receiver. Put the 12. And now it's starting to rain. Okay, so this should be the 12. We're building satellites. I mean, it's, I'm in a, I'm in the woods. Ain't no doubt about it. Struggling. She's picking up satellites. Probably should have put a good position on both of those, or at least used one to shoot the other one. Toward the shot. Observation stored. Let's try this. Let's swap base receivers. We'll go back to the 10, but let's swap over. Waiting for information from the base. RTK initialization. I'm gonna say reset satellite tracking. Yes. If you notice, it's gonna drop the satellites down to zero. Okay, satellites went down to zero. Now let's see how long it takes for it to come back. This should be, I think this is on the 10. Let's see how long it takes. Ooh, let me go ahead and hit measure. Let's see how long it takes a 10 to come back from zero satellites. Using the 10 as a base, 12 is a rover. Taking it a minute, isn't it? Skater. Malaria from trying to show you guys how this how oh, this gear works. Get West Nile virus. Is that still a thing? Or did that go away? Two minutes into it. We're coming down. Numbers are looking good. I say on average three minutes. That's what I tell everybody in the woods. If you ain't got a shot within three minutes, it's you're probably not gonna get a shot.
We'll see how long this one takes. It's trying real hard. Can it do it within the next 30 seconds? Prove me wrong. Hear that frog goober? 52, 54, 56, man, it's right there. 59, three minutes, and, and, it jumped up. Well, it's trying. Hmm, it really wants to. Skater. There it goes. Took almost four minutes to get that shot stored. Okay, so let's go to measure. Let's go to swap base. That was the 10, so now we're gonna go to the 12. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna reset the satellite so we can compare apples to apples. Waiting for information from the base. Okay. Measure, RTK initialization, reset SV tracking, reset, yes, okay. Satellites are going down to zero. Waiting for okay, I'm gonna say measure. Cool precisions. See how long it takes. See if there's a difference between using R12 and R10. Some days it seems like the it's R12, R12 only. Some days it seems like an R10 will work. So, kind of hard to say, but I can tell you R12, R12, pretty solid. Let's see if it takes any longer. Like I say, the difference in the R12 base station is gonna be those extra L5 satellites that we're gonna be getting. And keep in mind, I dropped this all the way down to zero satellites again. Let's see how long it takes for it to resolve its ambiguities. We're at one minute. Let's see if we can get it under three minutes. You know, situations are going to vary between the satellite position, density of the canopy, there's gonna be a lot of differences, you know, from day to day, from what you're gonna see. This thing's having a hard time too. I'm in a bad spot. I'm in the woods. As you can see, there are trees everywhere. There we go, took the shot. Just under two minutes. So two minutes for the R12, four minutes for the R10. Um, I was down here the other day and I couldn't get the R10 to even get a shot. So I'm actually pretty impressed. Observation stored. So anyways, guys, um, I've got to go to Arkansas to work on a house this week. So I'm gonna take, uh, take vacation this week and go work. Seems like it's all I ever do is work, right? So um, guys, as always, thanks for watching. God bless, love you guys. Keep hitting that like and subscribe. We're headed up towards 6,500. Probably won't be long, we'll have 7,000. If I'd actually put some video else out, I'd probably even do better than that. So 
Anyways, hope this stuff helps you out, kind of gives you some information, right? R10, R12 is a base station and which one you should use. This was the best way I could think of to test the two to see. So um, maybe we'll do this again at another time and, um, and see how it works, okay? So guys, see you in the next video. I'm getting out of these mosquitoes. Mercy.